Narco submarines are covert marine vessels designed primarily for transporting illicit drugs, such as cocaine, from South America to the high profit markets of the US and Europe. Over the past decade, authorities have intercepted over 200 of these submarines, but many remain undetected, constantly evolving and designed to stay ahead of law enforcement. In this video, we delve into four distinct models of these submersibles, ranging from simple designs to high-tech transatlantic vessels, exploring how they work, avoid detection, and the Coast Guard's efforts to capture them. Each year, authorities seize several hundred tons of cocaine, but much more continues to slip through. This ongoing cat-and-mouse game between cartels and law enforcement has driven the development of increasingly sophisticated smuggling vessels. Initially, narco submarines were designed for short trips, but with time, they evolved into highly specialized, long-distance ships capable of crossing oceans with tons of cocaine. One notable figure in the development of these vessels is Oscar Moreno Ricardo, known as the King of Semi-Submersibles, who ran a clandestine shipyard deep in the Colombian jungle. His operation produced narco subs that could travel thousands of miles, evading detection with stealthy designs. Let's take a closer look at the evolution of narco submarines, starting with the first type discovered in the late 2000s. These low-profile vessels are typically around 14 meters in length and only partially submerged, with the top remaining above the waterline. This design minimizes the vessel's radar profile, making it difficult for authorities to detect. A typical crew consists of five men, traveling in cramped conditions, with the hull vibrating from the constant hum of the diesel engine. The sub's cargo hold is packed with tons of cocaine, which provides the necessary weight to keep the vessel submerged just below the surface. On a standard route to Central America, the cargo could earn the cartel over $200 million if it reaches its destination. While these subs are stealthy, they are not immune to detection. A Marine Patrol aircraft spots the sub, prompting a rapid response from the U.S. Coast Guard. A helicopter and two boats race to intercept the vessel. When the Coast Guard reaches the sub, the crew attempts to scuttle the vessel, a last-ditch effort to sink it and destroy the evidence. Fortunately, the Coast Guard acts quickly, capturing the crew and their valuable cargo before it's too late. Next, we explore a more advanced model, which made headlines during its journey from Brazil to Europe. This larger sub, known as the CH, spans over 20 meters in length and can travel across the Atlantic. It is far more sophisticated, with the crew compartment and cargo hold designed to carry massive amounts of fuel and drugs over long distances. However, despite the sub's size and advanced features, the journey is fraught with difficulties. After weeks of storms and nearly running out of fuel, the crew is forced to abandon the mission, sinking the sub off the coast of Galicia. Authorities recover three tons of cocaine, worth $100 million, and arrest the crew. In contrast, the Snorkel Sub is a fully submersible vessel that can submerge almost entirely with only a small snorkel extending above the surface. This design is powered by a diesel engine and can carry up to eight tons of cocaine. Unlike the other subs, this one can evade detection with its advanced camera system and greater maneuverability. While this vessel has never been caught at sea, authorities continue to track its movements on land suspecting that many of these subs successfully complete their missions without detection. Finally, we examine the most recent and sophisticated design, an electric narco sub. Discovered in 2020, this vessel is a 12-meter-long fully submersible model with no diesel engine. Instead, it is powered by batteries, making it nearly undetectable. The sub can only travel short distances, but it can be attached to larger vessels allowing it to be pulled across vast distances undetected. Although authorities have only found one such sub, it is believed that there are many more operating in the depths of the ocean, their designs evolving to meet the latest challenges of law enforcement. The construction of these narco submarines is a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the builders, many of whom operate in the remote jungles of Colombia. These master builders craft vessels with basic materials but with remarkable precision designing the minimum viable product to reliably transport expensive cargo across dangerous waters. Despite their crude appearance, the subs are highly effective, allowing cartels to smuggle vast quantities of cocaine into profitable markets while minimizing the risks. In November 2020, 
Law enforcement dealt a significant blow to the narco submarine trade with the arrest of Oscar Moreno Ricardo. However, this victory is far from the end of the story. As long as the demand for illicit drugs remains high, new designers will continue to craft more sophisticated, harder to detect submarines, ensuring that the battle between cartels and authorities rages on.